I did not need no patterns. I did not need no patterns, but I got some more patterns. Look at all these patterns. <laughs> if you want to see all the patterns that I got in this latest pattern run, stick around. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Did I need this? No, I didn't need these patterns, but I got these patterns. Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shatoka, and this channel is all about my sewing, fashion, and home decor. So today's video is all about patterns. So Joanne's was having a McCall's pattern sale for $1.99. So you know I had to go get me some. So I had a little folder of McCall's patterns that I had wanted to get. Um, I saw some in a new release that I wanted to get, and then just you know, just trying to add newer patterns to my pattern stash because I do have a bunch of patterns, but a lot of them are older and some of them are sizing that I need to go up on. So I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead and get me some more patterns so I can kind of try and start cycling some in, um, some new ones in and some of the older ones out. So eventually I'll do that. Right now I'm just going to put everything in my little inventory system and then we'll go through and see what things are kind of similar that are smaller that I can probably let someone else use. So I'm not like hoarding because it's become a problem like my fabric hoarding. <laughs> so um, like I mentioned in the other video, I am buying no fabric for the month of March. So, you know, my little sewing fixes patterns this month. So I did see some things that I want to get, but I have committed to no buying any fabric in the month of March. So today's video is going to all be about my patterns. So again, like I said, Joanne's was having a 199 McCall's patterns. And so I'm going to jump right in. I got 15. So um, I kind of went in saying I'm going to get like 10, but I got a few ones that kind of were like by surprise that I just saw when I was in the drawers and I decided to go ahead and grab those. So I'm really, really glad I did. I'm actually kind of more excited about those than the ones that I had already had on my list. I don't know, maybe because they're just like pleasant surprises. So let's jump right in. So the first one I got is a top. Um, I was trying to get more tops in this visit due to me having so many dresses. I have like two dress binders of uh, patterns. So I got this top. Um, this is McCall's 8113. And I just love this one. I'm going to bring it in closely so it can focus. So, so cute and dramatic. Not in love with the shirt that she has on just because that fabric kind of looks, I don't know. I like dots, but it kind of looks like itchy to me. But just that style is really, really nice. So I'm loving all three versions, A, B, and C. Really love that little pink number in B. And this is just so cute and so dramatic. So it's 16 pattern pieces in this uh, pattern. Um, and it calls for an invisible zipper. That zipper goes up the center back. Really nice. It looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, and like, look, the one that she has on, like, look at that at the back. That is so nice. Really, really love that. I got a size 8 through 16. Um, because lately I've been having a downsize in the patterns that I've been making lately. Even though this is not for a stretch knit fabric. Um, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to cut a 16 and see. Because I'm just like over wasting time with having to size everything down after I've already completed, you know, the garment. So, really love this one. So cute for the spring and summertime. Again, this is McCall's 8113. So the next one I got, um, this is one of those ones that was a surprise. It's like a little romper, super easy uh, knit romper. Um, it is 8218. I just seen this one when it was in the drawers. So this one wasn't on my list of ones to kid, but I just love that one, especially this one. Not the culotte one that she's wearing because I'm taller and those lengths kind of fall weird on me. So I'll do this long version or the short version. And this is just so cute. And it looks like it's just easy breezy. You can throw in a little jean jacket or a cardigan over it if you if it's cooler. Um just super nice. And I love the little tie belt it has. This is uh recommended for knit fabrics. It has 11 pieces. Super duper nice. I think this is something that could come together really really quickly. Um so I had to grab this. It doesn't have any zipper closures. You literally just pull this boy up and go about your day like super duper cute had to get that one super nice so the next one i got is actually um for a tote bag or a little clutch purse 
really really like that i have tons of like scrap fabrics that i can use for those little totes and i could probably just like add a strap to do like a crossbody because that's how i prefer to wear um little bags like that and then that tote is so nice that could be really nice for i mean you can use that for groceries or just when you want to wrangle around a few things that are extra like going to the beach or anything like that like super duper nice um this is actually let me get the actual number because this was on the like the top uh without the number 8271 so macaws 8271 really really nice super simple 11 pieces in here um and i got fabric already that i can make a few bags up with and i could use this to make gifts as well super nice so glad i got that and this is one of the newer patterns that i saw online and i was like oh my god i have to get this so cute look at that peekaboo that is so cute i love that it looks like that's about like Maybe that's like taffeta fabric she has on, but that even that blue, that's really nice. Love this. This is McCall's 8252, um, and I got size 16 through 24 for this because it's like a non-stretch and it's a dress. So whenever I'm getting things to make this a dress, I typically will go up in size um, for the bottom, but tops I'll size down. Um, but I really love this. And in the line drawings, you can see the back is out, but it is covered to the top to where you could wear a bra. So you don't have to go rawless in this. But I love this. It's so cute. And then, oh, I didn't even notice that this one actually has a little split in it. Super cute. I love the way they styled her with this. With these sandals. Yes, come on. And come on here. Look, so cute. I love this. I can't wait to make this. This will be such a nice dress to wear, like, to a wedding. Oh, that would be so cute. Love this. Glad I got this. 82.52. Only nine pieces in this pattern. So super nice. It looks like it's a pretty simple make. Um, where is the, it's a zip at the bottom of the skirt. So that's it. And then it's like a, I guess like a button opening in the back at the top for hooking eyes. But yep, super duper cute. Love this one. This is another newer one that was on my list of ones to get. Love this. Look at that top. She looks so cute too. Um, and check out that little bag. I actually got the pattern for those uh, bags as well. But love this. I love the princess seams in this. Super nice. Love that um, sleeve too. Not really a fan of that sleeve. But love this and love the shape. Um, and this is McCall's 82.55. This is one of the newer patterns. Really, really nice. This, like I said, this was on my list. I had to grab this. But this is so cute. I think I'm actually going to make... This top, this one that she has on out of that Ankara fabric that I got from Lou in my uh, African mystery box. I think I'm going to use that because I have six yards of that fabric. And so I can make this top and then I can actually probably make a little skirt too to do like a matching set. or And then that way I can like have two items out of that fabric. Super nice. I love this. Like I said, I love how they styled her. Really, really, really nice. The next one I got um, is a knit top. I was trying to get more tops in um, this uh, pattern haul. Well, not in the haul, but me getting in my inventory more tops because I have tons of dress patterns. So I'll try to get more tops in. This is McCall 7975. And I just love this little knot detail here. And that sleeve is super cute too. But that is so flattering. Hopefully it's not too like complicated to put together. And this is like a 2020 pattern. So this is a couple of years old. So there should be like some videos on YouTube. I'll be able to find um, like a review or something on it. But super nice. Five pieces. Super simple. It's recommended that you use moderate stretch knits. Cotton jersey knits. Rib knits. Really, really nice. Thought this would be perfect to add to my wardrobe. I'll probably start with like the little sleeve. Um, and then I'll go to here and probably for next fall, I'll make some longer sleeves, but just thought this was a really cute pattern to add in my, um, collection. This was not one that was on the list. I just actually saw this in the drawers when I was shopping. So really glad I got this. This one was on my list for sure. Look, look at this sexy number. Yes. Look at this. That is so nice. And then if you don't want to have as much midriff out, you can just like not scrunch, uh scrunch it as much but that's so cute look at this one right here with the two colors the two tones oh my god so nice you can really do a lot with this one because think about it you can do like a print at the top and solid at the bottom or you could do like say if you found a knit that had the same um kind of pattern but two different colorways like you can mix it and match oh this would be so nice like 
I can't wait to make this. Not sh not sure about this length because I know on me it's going to be like awkward. But yeah, I'm going to definitely do this little one. Super duper cute. This has five pieces. Come on. This is going to be super simple to put together. And for knits too, you're going to do this in the afternoon. So that is McCall's 8253. So cute. Like I said, she was on my list. I saw this and was like, oh yeah. Yeah, you getting this. It's super cute. And this is very flattering too. Like the rouging here. So you got to worry about it like sticking all to your stomach and stuff like that. Very forgiving. Super duper nice. Glad I got her. And so this is the one that I was talking about. I actually got um, the purse purses and clutches that she had on in that other one so these are trending like they are well you got knockoffs but there's like a designer bag i'm not sure if it's balenciaga i'm not sure but there are designer bags that look just like this not that strap i don't know if i'll do that strap i'll probably just make like a little wristlet but yes i got it for that <laughs> um these other little purses are cool but that that is what i got it for this one right here super duper nice and that's not gonna take that much fabric either like i can see that in a few ways this is mccall's 8272 i just had to grab this little one because i'm like you know what i'm about to give me a whole bunch of these little bags out of like fabrics that i have just laying around like you don't even need a whole yard of fabric to make this this is super duper cute and i'll just put hardware probably on the ends so that i can like connect the strap either make a strap or you know if i have other bags I'll just take the strap off of there and put it on there. Like, come on now. Like, super, super easy. So glad that I picked this one up. I can't wait to do this pattern. And this will be, like, really, really nice for gifts as well. Um, The next one I got is a knit top. This is another top that I feel like you can knock out in an afternoon, cut it out, and sew it in a day. Like, a couple of hours. Um, Really, really nice. I love a cross top top i love that one that yellow is really really nice too probably won't do that crop that she has on but <laughs> for sure b and c love this this pattern only has nine pieces super duper nice i got this one in the 16 through 24 i don't think that they had the smaller sizes because i would have got that because it is a stretchier fabric but i'm just gonna cut the 16 and then see if it works out but i thought this was one of those super simple ones to add and this is one that like you can like hack to like make a dress like i could see just extending that bottom and make a maxi dress or just like a little midi dress or whatever just add the extra fabric to the the bottom and there you go you got a dress super duper nice glad i got this one this one i just saw in a drawer like when i was looking for something else i saw it in the drawer and was like oh let me just grab this super simple really glad i got this this one was on my list this is a wrap skirt i have another wrap skirt pattern in my stash um but it's like older so it's smaller so i want to pick this one up i got the size large through double x and i just love it i'll probably make view a the little one super cute it's 12 pieces in here um this one is called for cotton blends lawns lightweight fabric so it could be nice and flowy um i just recently did a fabric haul of fabric that i got from maker studio and i have a print in there that i think i'm going to use to make this skirt pretty soon really love this super nice and like look at the flounce on this one that she has on really nice really glad i got this one 82.59 how many I got left? We got five left. So the next one I got, this is another one that I found in a drawer just going through. Um, it's an older pattern. This one is actually from 2017, but it's super cute. It's a super versatile top. This is McCall 7572. And I just saw this and was like, yeah, I, yeah. Look at that D. Super cute. Even the way she has it style, that, I don't know why they got that like that. That's, that's not cute. <laughs> and not really fond of the print that she has on but just the styling of it i would definitely do that like some skinnies with like this top super nice or you could even do like some little shorts this will be super cute and again this is one that you can just extend it down and make this a dress and this is super flattering with this rouging just love this one so this was a happy surprise that i found in the drawers this is mccall 7572 you guys should definitely see if you could find this one in your drawers because sometimes we just miss out on stuff. Like, I don't ever remember seeing this and I get patterns pretty frequently and I just, I missed this one in 2017. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't getting patterns like that, but she's super cute. I really like this. I'm glad I got her. I got her on the 14th through 22. So I'll probably just cut, maybe I'll cut a 16 in this um, because it does have 
a tie. So like, even if it's a little bit big, you can just like tie it tighter. So super nice, recommended. It's a pullover top, so it's recommended for um, like cottons, flowy, rayon blends. Well, it says knits in here. Actually, I thought this was a woven pattern. It says knits. I'll see how it goes. But I really love this. Oh, I had to get this. So, yeah, kind of thrown off that this says knits. I'm thinking this was just like a pullover uh, top that you can do with like flowy cottons and stuff like that. But, yeah, I probably still could. Just probably maybe size up so it could be easier to get on. But this neckline, it's super, like, wide so i don't see why you couldn't just get that on easily so yep got that um this one is i might have this already i'm not for sure i think i have something very similar and this is one of those ones too that you probably could just draft on your own but like why not just grab the pattern or whatever it's two bucks right now and cut out the pieces and you're good to go but this is mccall 7561 i think this one is older too yep this is 2017 um but yeah look at that super simple but yeah i'm just looking at do you see because super cute for the summertime as a maxi dress i would love that and even the one that she has on is really cute i can make that for work and that'll be work appropriate and i love that neckline on a as well it's a little bit higher up super cute you can do the cap sleeve you got the long sleeve this is one of those mix and match ones not sure about this one with the button i mean not the buttons with the pockets on the front that kind of looks a little odd to me but super cute and then in the back on the line drawings, you see some of them are like a lower back. So that's going to be super easy to get on and off, but super cute. Love that. Super cute. I got the large to extra large in this one. I'll probably cut an extra large and see how it goes so I can have like extra flowy uh, bottom. And then I could just take in the top if I need to. But super cute. Glad I got this. Now this one, this is like the surprise, surprise. So this one is from 2018. And another one that I was just going through the drawers looking for something else. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my God, this is so cute. I have to grab this. This is McCall 7743. And it was it was her. It was her with the purple. Like this right here. Because this really don't look like much. Because sometimes, like I'm sure y'all know, like sometimes they be choosing the wrong fabrics and the, or the wrong prints. And it just don't photograph well so a lot of times you got to look at the line drawings or like the little cartoon because this little cartoon lady got me with this little purple like this is so cute like so feminine and i think this will be a super easy make um how many pieces in here do it say uh this one does not say but it looks super simple it looks super simple this one's pretty nice too um like i said this one baby huh I'm like, she got me with this purple. I'm like, I might try to find that same exact purple and do her. But super duper nice. Love this. And it's like a wrap. Um, I don't think it's like any zipper closure. No, it's just like a little wrap. Um, and it is recommended to use Crepe Shally's Georgette's Crepe de Chine. Super flowy fabric. So yeah, she's getting made soon. This was a pleasant surprise. I'm so glad I seen her in the drawer. And I missed her back in 2017 when she first came out. Or maybe I had only seen this and was like, huh? No, that this ain't it. That, mm -mm. but that little purple number, that's it. So this next pattern, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna use this one for um the jacket that I'm gonna do that I talked about in my make nine video. I talked that about having uh, a pattern already for um like a moto moto jacket. I have one, but this one I think it's more my speed. So this is McCall's eighty one twenty one. This one probably won't get put together until next fall or well, i'll probably start working on it like late summer so they can be ready for the fall but look at her how cute is she and just this fabric that actually she's using well this is like a tweed but you know it's recommended for leather novelty fabrics tweed wool blends but i love this this is so cute i'm gonna get that model jacket out this year for sure so here are the line drawings um, it's probably a ton of pieces, but yeah, 26 pieces, but I'm going to take my time with it. Of course, you have to have zippers, a uh, separating zipper, and then two smaller zippers, like, but she's cute. So this is going to be the one that I think I'm going to use, and I talked about in my Make 9 that I might 
change the actual pattern but i just want to make a moto style jacket and so i think this is going to be the pattern and so the last pattern i got is another top this is not one that was on my list but i saw her in a drawer and i thought she was so cute this is 77.52 super cute that's even cute how they got like that gingham fabric really love this super flattering and cute even just the strapless the way she has it here i don't know about those little sleeve things but love this can't wait to make this and I feel like this will be super nice on all sizes like really really cute I got 14 through 22 because it is recommended that you use um, cotton blends poplins ginghams like non-stretch fabrics um, super duper nice and I love those cups like oh that's gonna be super duper cute love it and it's got a zipper back super cute love it so yep that's all that i have i have 15 patterns so yeah i didn't need anything but you know when it's 199 you got to take advantage when they are having a pattern sale so um whenever they have the next pattern sale probably for simplicity uh like in quick sew and stuff i probably won't shop that one because right now i'm like busting out the seams like with patterns like i have tons so i think i'll skip that next one but again eventually like i said i do want to start phasing out some of my older patterns that um probably not going to use or things that are too small now and i'll get them to someone who actually could use them but these ones I'm really excited about sewing like that little wrap skirt I think I'm gonna do that one pretty soon and those like tote bags oh those clutch purchase too I'm really excited to sew those um so yeah I wanted to just do this quick pattern haul for you guys um my next video um probably will be a home decor haul because I have been getting a few things for the spring um to do like spring decorating I do have things in the closet too that I can like pull out so I'm not going crazy with buying new things but I have picked up a few new things so I'll probably do that um, and that'll be my first like home decor video on this channel. So I'm really excited about bringing that to the channel. And then I actually will have a sewing. I did sew up um, like a cardigan little dress. And it's it's nice, but it kind of is different than what I thought it was going to be. Like I didn't have enough fabric to do the sleeve. So I'm probably going to have to wear like a, a top underneath. So I'm going to try to see how I'm going to style that first. And then I'll bring that to you with a pattern review of the pattern that I use. Um, so there's a few things to go over in that pattern. So those will be my next video. So again, if you are not subscribed to my channel, click the notification bell to be up subscribe and to be added to my subscriber account because right now I am at I think 240 something so we're growing I'm super excited about it I'm gonna keep uploading on this channel and just see where it goes so again thanks for stopping by see you next time bye